I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's officially snowing. Winter is here. Can you guys see that? Like it's falling onto the lens. I hope you guys can see that. But it is officially snowing and it is freezing. We're just trying to find the cab home. And guys are just walking up and down. Yo, is that the cab? <laughs> Go, go shawty, it's your birthday. Old school classic for the intro. What's up guys, it's Mike Dumbas and welcome to the video. My extreme fat loss diet, my mini cut, day number three or episode three. Before we kick off, it is so close to Black Friday, I have a huge announcement. Project Diamonds, the one I'm using right now that I've used in all my transformations, the ones that you guys have used in all your transformations to lose weight, V2 is now going to be on sale. Use the code Black Diamonds for 30% off the entire site. And this is the great and sad news. I will be discontinuing Project Diamonds V2 after the end of the month of November. No more. So if you ever wanted a discounted Project Diamonds, this is the last chance. Black Diamonds, link in the description, diamondsfitness.com to get yourself the transformation package at a discounted price. But let's kick off the video. What's up, it's your boy Mike Diamonds and welcome to the video. Episode three of the Extreme Fat Loss Diet, 14 days. There's a lot going down in this video by the title that you guys can see. So, before I even get into it, I am going to need y'all support more than ever. So if you're new to the channel, for your boy, please subscribe. And if you haven't yet, just drop the video a thumbs up because that will make me feel better about the situation. But first thing we need to do, we need to check our weight. So let's dive into the weigh-in. As you guys can see, 84.4, we've almost lost two kilos. A lot of that is attributed to water weight, but I am also going to say, cause I need to leave the country pretty soon, I also need to be more in check with my diet. Hence why you've seen such a drastic drop in weight. But early in the morning, let us make our way to class. Early morning, I didn't even clean this stuff up. Mike, you lacking. Be ready for class, bro? Man, what y'all, you gotta sweat me in the morning, bro. Fuckers. Always on a perspiration thing. Kidding. I am wearing the Legend London jeans, and I am wearing the Gymshark lightweight top. We're on our way to class today. What's the day today, bro? Me, I'm wearing the... Oh, you're wearing that up? Mm. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Funny guy. We're on our way to class. I just woke up. We, I, I can't even speak this, sadly. Let's go to class. I'm gonna take my time. She gonna get hers. Boom! And we're done with class. Gynecology is a very, very rough subject. I think that I do not want to become a gynecologist. So we're on our way home, and then the bell rings, and I'm not sure who's at the door. Have a delivery from who? I honestly don't know. I have. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what it is, guys. Definitely. Open, open it. For me? Yeah. Gosh, we're already. It's from DHL, which surprises me, bro, because DHL doesn't deliver. Uh, hey. Hey. Yeah, I got a pair of jeans. Hey. You got two black. Oh shit, that's crazy. So these are jeans from Legend London. Shout out to Legend London. Much love. I'll add this here from when they come. Kush. Oh, Kush is ro rocking them. This, these are yours now, bro. Fuck, they look sick, dog. My boy. Yo. A big shout out to Legend London. By far the best jeans I've ever put on in my life. But 
Now I am breaking my fast. I haven't had food, so as you guys know, I'm still running the protocol called intermittent fasting, which means I fast from 16 to 8 hours, 16 to 20 hours in a day, and I eat within a 4 to 8 hour window period. So that is the approach I go. It's it doesn't help with fat loss, but it helps me managing my diet. So as a medical student, I don't have to fuss too much about the food, but I can rather focus on school. And when I'm back home, I can rather focus on the foods and the meals that I need to get in. And I get to eat a lot more food. So guys, here are my two meals. This is two scoops of the whey protein, and then you have 100 grams of oats in there, and then in here I have about 200 grams of mixed veg, or actually 400 grams of mixed veg, and exactly 200 grams of ground beef, a sweet and a more savory meal. But this is my first meal today, and we will see what we have after that. Guys, I've been back home, and there's a lot of things happening behind the scenes. Um, Probably from the title of the video, which I'll explain to you in a bit. Um, take it with an open mind. This is like my life and my current situation. I'm not complaining about it, but I'm, my channel is to share the experiences, good and bad. But let me eat this first and then I'll sit down with you guys and have a chat. So, the title of the video, why you guys are here. Let me show you our current situation. I'm going to take you guys home. As we open my door, this is our situation. I have clothes that I just washed. Bags are waiting for us, guys. We are moving out. It is extremely short notice, but we're being kicked out. That is the situation. We're packing up the apartment. It is stressful, guys. Check it out. Kush's room. Kush is busy packing. We're getting kicked out, bro. We're gonna explain what happened. No. Quickly. Tell them what happened about the police right quick. What did the police say? <laughs> So I wasn't here. Kush told me police came. What did the police say? In short, but also like in a very nice way. In a short, but a nice way? Yeah. The police came and they complained. Someone had complained downstairs that there was noise. Yeah. And uh, well, we told the police that no, there's, we were dancing a bit, but that was over like an hour ago. Okay, okay. Then I went to open the door for the police so that they can get out. Then one of the police guys asks me, uh, do you have Negroes inside there? Oh my gosh. I wasn't even, I, was, I wasn't home that entire day. Yeah, and I'm like, uh, uh, like first I didn't catch it. I'm like, what, what? And he's like, yeah, Negroes, Afro-Americans, Africans. I'm like, yo. So let's talk about this. Let me explain. I moved here, when did I move in here? Like July? For like a few weeks, right? Yeah. Okay, I moved here in July, a few weeks. Kush's previous roommate dropped out. He decided to leave. And at that time, YouTube was happening. Thanks to Gymshark and my protein, I was now receiving a quote unquote salary. So I didn't have to live in a dorm room with like two, three people in a room. So Kush was like, yo, move in. So I moved into this apartment. Now, <laughs> that does not help the situation. <laughs> now, ever since I've come here, it's kind of been like an issue. Uh, to be honest, the apartment I live in is, you know, you dope. need, it's very dope. You need to Beautiful. like, like doctors can't like afford a place like this here yeah. in Russia. So when they see me in this apartment, I believe, I'm just assuming, I might be wrong, don't like, don't get angry at me for it. You know, there's a bit of like, oh, like the first day I came in here, the lady at the bottom asked me if I was the pizza boy. <laughs> she was like, the, the staff guy, like the delivery guy, I'm like, no, I live here now. But in the end, now they've like, with the police story I just said and so on, I guess people have been complaining, not that we've done anything like crazy. But uh, the owners have then decided to sell the apartment in like short notice and we're packing and we're looking for a new apartment in short. 
you guys might ask me, Mike, didn't you guys have a contract? Don't you have so-and-so? Well, no contract was based. I just moved in. I took the place of the gentleman that was staying here before and I was paying uh, rent. No contract was set. And I guess that's the penalty we pay. I mean, it was also convenient because if you get to live somewhere, you don't have to pay, like you don't have to sign a contract, like less responsibility. But also, maybe the owners just really wanted to sell the place. Kush said that they wanted to sell the place. They wanted to sell it like, or like five years ago already. Yeah. But back then, the market and everything wasn't wasn't any really good. No. So like nothing towards the owners, but I think that maybe, like the recent happenings of the apartment, especially with a gentleman like myself living here. Um, maybe give them the idea of like, hey, maybe we don't want to deal the stress with tenants and stuff anymore. How about we sell the apartment now? And they sold it. So we are out. I know, sad story. But, but, I think we might find some place. Maybe even a little bit better. So that is the silver lining. But I thought I might update you guys. And um, that also being said, I'm leaving to the UK. <laughs> That is the end of the video guys I hope that it explained it well it doesn't it's not negative at all that is just what life is like everywhere is different what my thoughts are might not be correct it might be incorrect who knows but that is the situation that is the truth of it and your boy is off to the UK so if you did enjoy the video if you want to continue supporting your boy smash the video a thumbs up if you are new to the channel subscribe right here we are lit this shit is real and if you haven't seen the previous video this is the video here i'll see you guys in the next one